Sam, was there an area or a few areas that you focused on in your work with Jordan this year? Yeah, there's a few things. Um, you know, just got to clean up some things, obviously, fundamentally, um, mentally. Um, I think just to touch on some things fundamentally, I've been working on, you know, throwing to the right a little bit more. I feel like sometimes when I throw to my right, it's all arm. So I've been looking into trying to step into my throws and use more of my body and my legs going to my right. Um, and then, you know, just continuing to work on deep ball accuracy is also huge for me. I, I feel like I, I left a couple opportunities out there on the table last year, and I'm looking to, you know, hit those throws this year. Sam, Joe obviously made some significant changes on the offensive line, Makai and, and Greg and Connor McGovern. How do you think that will impact the offense? Yeah, I think they're good players, um, guys who have been in the league for a long time. Um, you know, from, you know, just from talking to them for a little bit and from what guys have said about all the guys that we brought in, um, got, they're guys of high character. And the more guys we can bring in like that, the better. Sam, Joe Douglas promised to get you playmakers and protection. I'm wondering, are you at all curious what it's going to be like to stand beside Makai Becton? who is just this enormous person who should be protecting you for a decade. And what do you think of Denzel Mims? Yeah, um, obviously back then a, a, a big guy. Um, I know, but you know, the media was blown up because everyone, you know, wanted to see his dad play defensive tackle for us too. So um, no, obviously back a, um a freak athlete and obviously a hard human. So um you know, I'm very excited to have him on our team. And then Denzel is, you know, just watching his highlights and watching some plays that he made last year for Baylor. Um, he's, a, he's a great playmaker. Um, he's got a lot of potential. And, you know, we're excited to have him. And we've talked about how encouraged you've been uh, about the back half of last season. Uh, that being said, given that Brady is not in the division and another team will be making the playoffs in each conference, uh, do you think the expectation for the Jets this year should be playoffs? And uh, along those lines, do you believe you have a playoff roster? I mean, we definitely have the guys to be able to win football games. Um, but as we see every year, it's about putting everything together. And right now we still got a long way to go. Um, we have a lot of meetings that we haven't finished yet. We got, you know, some guys are still, you know, learning the playbook. So, um, there's still a long way to go and a lot of practices to be had as well. So, um, you know, right now we're just working on ourselves and making sure that we're all good to go. And, um, you know, I know everyone's just looking forward to, you know, going out there and um, winning the first game. And then after that, winning the second one. I think, first of all, you know, with a great player like Tom Brady, um, you know, obviously leaving, it's a big deal. It's headlines, um, you know, for us, every single game in the NFL is a tough one. And I think any player can attest to that. Um, so we're not going to take anyone more lightly just because, you know, even though, you know, one of the greatest players, if not the greatest player of all time left the organization, um, we're not going to take them any more lightly. What do you think Frank Gore is going to add for you guys? Yeah. I mean, I've heard from a bunch of people. He's a, he's a guy with great work ethic and a really good leader, really good locker room guy. So, um, and obviously it looks like he can still play. So we're, uh, we're thrilled to have him. I know, you know, coach Gase has worked with him before um, and he speaks very highly of him as well.